Hey everyone, a uh, question came in on our website about uh, the possibility of wrapping a CSS class or ID around some of the, the footer items in a preview card, more specifically uh, the details. So I uh, thought I'd create a video and show some options for that to answer the question as well. So uh, here we have um, our test listing here in the preview card. Uh, we've got no details as you can see down here, just uh, just the cover image. So if we go to our listing type, preview card, footer section, add that details area that they were asking about. Uh, we add an author block, for example, or author name. Let's add that. Let's add a. Let's add it again, just for testing purposes. And we'll save save those changes. Uh, the theme is going to want us to uh, regenerate the cache since we changed the way those cards are now going to look. So we'll regenerate those. We're going to refresh our page here. So now as you see, we've got our two details items. Uh, now, so I'm assuming they what they wanted to do was just change the look and or feel of how these individual details look. So going with that assumption, because there's only two, we actually don't need to wrap anything here. We can just use CSS to target this first item only. Um, so to do that, uh, we want to use the first first child declaration. So we'll go over to our theme CSS, theme options, custom code CSS. We'll drop this in. So this is saying we're in our details list. It's a line item. We're going to say our first child. That's the very first one on the list this one okay so we're gonna say let's make that red and then any subsequent line items let's just make them blue okay so let's save that refresh our page cool so that worked red blue no problem so now back to their question can we can we do the wrapping yes when would you um, a good example of that would be, let's say our preview card has three items. So let's just make another author block here. I don't know why I keep calling it author block, but author name. Okay. Save our changes. Regenerate. Refresh our page. So there we go. First child, still red. Any subsequent one we add, blue. So how do we make this one green, for example? To do that, we do the wrapping. So we go back to our preview card. Go to that third item. And what we are doing here is we are wrapping the class of green around that same author name. Okay. We gotta go back to our CSS. So now we're saying uh, the same CSS, but now we're going to say, let's take that green CSS class, 
that we added here. Class green. Details list, class green, line item, color green. Update. Refresh our page. And it's not there. So let's go back. Probably some issue in our CSS here. Um, let's take out let's take out a line out of there. Maybe we don't need that. Alright, refresh our page. No. Go back to my CSS here. Huh. Clear our cache one more time. There we go. Yeah, when in doubt, uh, regenerate that cache. Seems to fix a lot of issues. But there you go. Um, now let's say you change your mind, you want that orange. Go back in. You can even keep that class green, but you probably don't want to do that. Make it orange. Uh, you could call it just third, you know, third item. Let's just leave it third item. Save, go back to our CSS. Change green to third item. Change our color to orange. Save, regenerate our cache again for the card. Refresh, now this green should turn to orange. There you go. Now it's just, you don't have to mess with that, that class anymore. If it's still staying your third item, let's say you just want to change the font size. Uh, color orange, font size. Five. So this is going to make it like super small. Save. Clear our cache. Refresh our page. There you go. Hope this was helpful. Um, and I will shoot this to the person that asked the question. Thanks, guys. Later.